hi and welcome to my youtube channel so if you're using a 40 gate on gns3 this video is for you 40 gate has implemented a new feature that requires you to enter an evaluation license before you can use your uh, uh, 40 gate devices 40 gate appliance rather on gns3 so in this video i'm going to be walking you through how it is done so first thing you need to do is to get your 40 gate appliance on gns3 and then you need the cloud appliance connected to port 2 of the 40 gate device and you also need the nat appliance also connected to port 1 of the 40 gate device and of course you must ensure that your device your host machine has internet access what we are going to be doing now the nat will give the 40 gate device access to the internet while the cloud will give you the management access to the 40 gate device so we are going to go in and have it configured and then we will go back to the web portal after we have created a 40 k a free 40 k account and then we'll have it activated so here i am logged into my 40 gate device I'm entering the credentials and then I'll go into the interfaces to have them configured. So I'm going to go into port 1, which is the port that connects me to the internet. And I will set the mode to DHCP. This allows the 40 gate device to acquire an IP address via DHCP from the GNS3 VM machine. Okay. Then I will go into the port 2, which is the interface that connects to the cloud. The cloud appliance that allows me to manage the 40 gate and i'll set it to dhcp and i'll also enable allow access for ping and for https https is the secured mode that will allow us to configure the device via the web mode whereas the ping allows us to test reachability so at this point we have ip we also have uh, a default gateway which is 40.1 as can be seen on the screen so it will be wise at this point to test reachability so i'm going to be texting to 8.8.8.8 execute ping 8.8.8.8 which is the google dns and fair enough we have internet access so it will be wise also to test the dns name resolution by pinging any host name okay maybe timigate.com or cnn.com so fair enough as we can see we also have internet access so it's now time to head to 40 k uh, in the 40 cloud uh, 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 website to try to uh, register for a free 40 k account i already have a free 40 k account but i'm going to show you how easy it is to set it up so here you can click on registration and you enter the details that will be required of you which is an email address and then a verification code will be sent to your email you just follow the steps and complete it i already have an account so i'll log right in i don't need to log in i'm just showing you so you see so once you have a 40 k account fully set up and active so you can then head back to the 40 gate device and try to have your 40 gate enable so back in the 40 gate management console i'm going to be logging in and once i log in i will be prompted with the same message i had earlier which is this that the evaluation license needs to be either enabled or a full license so since all i have is an evaluation license i'm going to click on evaluation license and then i will enter my 40k account details once I, I do that, I'll click on OK or you hit the Enter key. So since the 40 gate already has an access to the internet, it's going to go out to the internet, to the 40 gate website, and try to activate the license for use on GNS3. So as you can see, I'm being told that the device will be rebooted. Of course, you should go ahead. So the 40 gate device license is fully activated at this point so i'm going to log back into my 40 gate device and once i do you see that the error message is gone 
So here I have my FortiGate device fully activated and ready for use. Thanks for watching guys and please do subscribe to this channel, like this post and turn up post notification to be among the first to receive more posts when I post. Thanks for watching and take care.